In horticulture, vegetables and fruits are produced with great care for our daily food. For example, tomatoes. We buy them in store and choose the most beautiful ones to eat. We are critical. Food is important to us. On average, we eat 15 kilograms of tomatoes per year. So it is a lot of tomatoes. Tomato cultivation does not only produce tomatoes, but also pruning waste. Once a year, the whole greenhouse is clear because the plant is depleted. This generates huge amounts of green waste, which is now usually being composted. The question is, are there possibilities for more meaningful applications? For example, can you use plant fibres to make fabrics? Yes, that is possible. Currently, research is being done on how to do this the best way. Soon, the first t-shirts of tomato fibres will be made. More sustainable tomato clothing will follow. You can also grow larvae on horticultural waste, for example of the black soldier fly. The larvae do not look attractive, but they consist almost entirely of protein. Protein from insect larvae can be an important and sustainable substitute for meat. The first insect farms have already started, but there is also a lot of research going on. For example, how to harvest the eggs in the best possible way that shall develop into larvae. In addition to green waste, there is also many residual vegetables and fruits in horticulture, because they have different shapes or colours. You can combine and process those in alternative food products. For example, with fermentation, you can also make a delicious dip. This is not only a sustainable product, but it tastes good as well. Because of overproduction, for example in hot weather conditions, thousands of tonnes of tomatoes can be left over. Instead of throwing that away, you could also use it to make passatas or health drinks. This has already been fully experimented with. Another fine example is the use of horticultural foliage and stems in chipboard. During its production, they can be added to the wood chips. This creates a special building material. In addition to tomatoes, a lot more crops are cultivated in horticulture which generate green waste. What can you do with this and what is the best option? It makes sense to look at that with an expert. More sustainable applications can come to light, which may also lead to additional revenues. That's a nice perspective. Horticulture is a beautiful and innovative sector that plays an important role in feeding the world's population. A lot is already happening to produce the best vegetables and fruits, but the side streams can be used even more effectively than at the moment. A great challenge for the future, horticulture can thus become even stronger and more sustainable.